Hi everyone and welcome back to the 2022 Yonex Canadian International Challenge and we have the last match of the tournament and possibly the match everybody's been waiting for next to the men's singles which we just finished and that is women's last singles. Last but not least. Exactly, exactly. And this is with Michelle Lee from Canada, first seed in the tournament, going up against Natsuki Nadira from Japan, both in the finals obviously and uh, an excellent match coming up here. Um, would you like to introduce yourself, sir? I am. You just assume Stephane that the viewers Cadu. all know you by I'm now. I'm Stefan Cadu. No, and don't do that. Don't do that to <laughs> yourself. Trust me. <laughs> I'm Mike DeBell. And, and I'm Mike DeBell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's what you sound like. We've been here for a while now. Too long. Not too long. We're pumped. And he so. I'm Mike. I'm Stefan. There you go. We're excited. We're ready. We're ready for this one. For our first Canadian title. Michelle, the favorite, obviously, in this one, but uh, her opponent. Uh, not as highly seated, but uh, has done an, an awful lot already this year and, and a super accomplished uh, singles player. And I think like some of the players we've seen, their ranking doesn't always reflect their relative ability. Yeah, to I mean, Obiashi, who's 162 in the world, that's, well, first of all, it's going to change after winning this title. Uh, showed us that you know, when he was able to, to um, edge out Brian, who's you know, now 25 in the world. So you can't... Uh, Put too much too much emphasis on that. And uh, having said that, I mean, Nadero's already 49 in the world. Uh, a little bit of a gap between her ranking and Michelle's 14 in the world, and that career she's had. But um, she's going to be dangerous. She's 24 years old. She's got a lot of bounds left in her career, and uh, yeah, had had a long three-game match with Bei Wing Zhang uh, in semis. And uh, Bei Wing has uh, lost. Well, she and Michelle have traded back and forth. Michelle won the last time they played. Uh, they've had an unbelievable battle back yeah. and forth. Yeah, and uh, both Bewen and Michelle have, as we mentioned yesterday, both have beaten virtually every top player in the world, um, which is why they're both seated relatively high. But uh, uh, Nadir has had a lot of good wins, and um, she did beat Bewen yesterday. So it's going to be an interesting match here. Yeah, I was looking at, we, well, we were looking at, at her... Uh at her sort of last year or so, and she was some pretty consistent results. You know, the more recent one being the Irish International Challenge, where she uh, kind of in November came in second place, and made finals, and then at the Indonesian Open, uh, uh, it was a hundred event. She made semifinals, which is a great result. The Indonesian Challenger, the um, previous two weeks before that, she was a semifinalist, and uh, Canadian 100, she was a quarterfinalist. Taipei 300 semifinalist, which is a very impressive result back in July, back in the summer, and then the Mexican International Challenge, she was a finalist again. So she's been pretty consistent all year long. Obviously consistent again, getting to the finals this week. And, um, yeah, it's uh, she's not going to hand this title to Michelle, that's for sure. No. Now, do you think that the three-game match she had yesterday against Bay Wen, this is Nadir, is that going to affect her today? You think she's going to be a little tired? Michelle's match with Rachel was... I wouldn't say more straightforward, straightforward yeah. but it was a little easier for sure. So do you think we'll see any, uh, any sign <laughs> said of that? I, I wouldn't say it's straightforward. As I said, straightforward. <laughs> yes, I know. <laughs> We've got to get on the same page, Mike. This Who is would not call it straightforward? <laughs> Nobody would call it straight. <laughs> Apparently I do. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think I think that's, you know, we just saw Brian's match, uh, losing in two games, second <laughs> game being very close. Uh, he, you know, he was looking a bit tired, of the, as he should. Yeah. But, you know, he'd just come off two physically grueling three-game matches in the quarters and semis. So it, it has an effect for sure. Uh, I don't doubt that she's incredibly fit and, and will have the ability to put out a, a really good effort, but uh, um, still placed in Michelle's advantage a little bit, who technically should have the advantage already, given her experience and the skill set. Yeah, and I think Michelle is familiar with playing uh, this style of singles. Uh, she's played an awful lot of the, the huge tournaments and beaten the top Japanese players in the world. So I think that style-wise, uh, nothing new that yeah, Michelle hasn't seen before. We all know she's had some big wins, and you mentioned one of the previous matches, she's essentially beaten the top 10 players in the world at, at one point. And, uh, but it's not, you know, some of those were in the previous years. Uh, but she's had some big wins this year as well against yeah. the top players. So it's, it's not like it's a thing of the past. So she's still able to compete when she's on. She is as dangerous as pretty much anyone in the world. Exactly. Great net hold. Yeah. That was well done. Yeah. But she makes it look easy. I, I think it's because it is easy for her. Yeah, I think, <laughs> <laughs> I think right. you're right. Let's face it. I mean, she not suggesting she's not trying, but it comes easier than <laughs> the average person. Yeah, I agree. She just uh, she glides around the court. It having looks effortless. Having said that, you've, you've seen Michelle, who, who now trains consistently at your club, 
Uh, she's an unbelievably hard worker on court, so yeah, it's not for uh, a lack of effort, that's for sure. Yeah, and she'll work. Miles. It, you know, she's got that s that type of training where there's a shot she wants to work on. She'll be out there forever working on this the one shot over and over and over again until she gets it, and then. In my eyes, she already has it, and then it's she practices it again. It's the per uh, yeah perfectionist. Right? You want yeah. to just perfect, and so uh, I mean, like a lot of athletes are obsessing over being the absolute best. So it's much to admire. Nice well, cross like that court, shot. yeah. That was yeah. way out. Yeah. So our second Canada Japan matchup. Yeah. I think my only concern with Michelle's obsessiveness is her love for Grey's Anatomy. Really? But apart from that, it's okay. Oof, that's a tough one to overcome. <laughs> that's a great area. Ugh. And Michelle plays with so much deception, it's sometimes hard to see it. But her overheads have a lot of reverse oh slices. Oh, she made that. Oh. Oh. What happened? At Nori. She could have got pegged in the head there. <laughs> yeah. I want to put your racket in front of your face next time. Yeah. Had she been that, wow. She could have got smacked. So a net exchange there. I think Michelle was hoping maybe that. Uh, but just from a safety point of view, yeah. I d I don't she was look completely at it. exposed. Wow. Yeah. That could have hurt. The opponent was uh, nice and not the pace it too hard. Yeah. Three all. Obviously, if you just finished watching the men's singles, you uh, are likely noticing a difference in the serving strategy. We're seeing all high serves at this point. And, and again, Michelle does use a short serve uh, on certain opponents, but right now uh, they both feel comfortable putting each other in the back line with a nice high serve. Whereas you did not see that on the men's side. It was all short serves. Great deceptive shot. She's going to keep the shuttle, apparently. I don't know. Oh, I was going to say. <laughs> thought I saw her win the Mine. rally. <laughs> Mine. <laughs> I thought she was going to do the whole. Uh, have you seen people, they, they wipe their foreheads with the shuttle to humidify them? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I used to have someone, I remember do that. It was like, oh, great. This was pre COVID. Yeah, Can you yeah. imagine now? Just like <coughs> cough on it. And yeah, they used to play someone good. who had uh, yeah. long hair, and they'd wipe it on their hair. Ugh. <laughs> I can't do that myself. If there's any uh, viewers who are vomiting uncontrollably right now, we <laughs> apologize. <laughs> Enjoy your lunch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, great net hold again. Yeah. I like right now that her tacks are, um, she's not overdoing it. She's hitting it well placed, but with some margin, right? They're, they're six, eight inches, ten inches. Yeah. In. That's good. High percentage. Easing your way into the match. And the net holds that both players do, the opponent, unless they try to guess, they can't really leave the center until you've hit the shot because it, as long as you hold the racket and you keep you lower the, the racket with the bird, uh, they can't really move until you've hit your shot. And Michelle's oh so good at that. Oh, I think that's going out. Yeah. How does she defend that sequence? Okay, yeah. that's that's a discouraging point for uh, for the yeah. Japanese player. If you you should have had that one. She's kind of the idea, sort of shaking her head, like, "What else can I do?" Well, she did hit one shot. That I think was going up. Yeah, you'd, you'd that'd be the one thing. Don't hit that one. <laughs> that's your coaching. coaching Otherwise, tip. it's out. Don't hit Sorry. it. Sorry. It's fast, mid air. There you see Michelle doing that quick look that we see. Oh. Yeah. That was a good hold, but uh, had to make the shot. And Nadira trying to do the same thing that Michelle's been doing, coming in to the net high. You can see her practicing it there just without the bird, but just getting in there high and trying to keep your opponent guessing as to whether you're going to the net or the back. 
after shot. We're straight. Michelle does that so well. Well, if um, if Nadir is looking to move Michelle around with her clear, it, it, that high clear is not going to do it. No. She's got to find a way to to create more. Not I mean, not a deception deception would, would hurt, but at least punch that clear lower and get her off balance. Right now, the, that rally, Michelle was just moving way too comfortably, and then she can just, you know, Michelle's a shot maker, so you give her time and you're in trouble. Yeah, yeah. Wow. shot quality yeah. is not good enough right now from uh, the Japanese player. No, uh, I, I agree. I mean, she's got to put some pace to that clear because Michelle right now is at a drill. Um, and, and that's right now, perfect start for Michelle. She's yeah. not overplaying anything. No. She's really not giving her anything. I mean, uh, you know, one of the few points that uh, Dare won was that crazy exchange in the net. She basically net rolled it. So she's uh, definitely executing right now, doing it at a high percentage, which is fantastic. And Michelle herself has had um, some some pretty steady results this year. She won the Canadian Open. You uh, seem to believe for the fourth time. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Partially because I saw her do four fingers. Right. So that, that, that was my that first clue. It wasn't a two, du two double piece line? No, I can't no. add those up. No, it could have been that too. Um, yeah, she has good results. So. And over the years, she's fought off some injuries. She's uh, Michelle has. She had surgery to two, chair, uh, two tears in her hip, a knee, stress fracture. She's had oh some well injuries well over the years. Not looking like it now. She's really she rehabbed back to the point where mm -hmm. she's as fast as she ever has been, I think. Yeah, she's doing really well. There, there was definitely a stretch where um, she was kind of struggling a bit defensively, and I think that was a little bit of a lack of movement and, and dealing with issues. So now it's nice to see her moving like she can allow wow. her to really play her game. Wow, that was <laughs> she had made that. That was a heavy spin. Yeah. Yeah, she has so many different shots to use. It's Michelle, I mean, she's made... Know the uh, world championship, she made quarterfinals and won some quality matches. I think we, we discussed already, but she uh, beat Inchon, uh for that one. And oh, got caught. Almost. So she took a chance moving forward and got caught on a defensive lift. Um, so, yeah, semi, uh, sorry, quarters of Worlds. Uh, she made the finals of the Commonwealth Games, an event she's actually won before, so her second medal. She made the quarterfinals at the uh, Thailand 500. Nice shot, Michelle again. Yeah. Won the Pan Am Championships for uh, the, I don't know how many times, uh, and the German 300 quarterfinals. So some some steady results. Um, these the kind of results I'm reading have been a lot of the other finalists, you know, at a challenger level, she's doing this at a, at a higher level. So uh, very impressive and consistent. And a three-time Olympian. Yes. Do you have any sense if she's looking to go to another Olympics? Uh, I would say yes. Okay. I mean, she hasn't specifically uh, said it, but I would just say that, yeah. I think uh, that the uh, uh, intensity she's training, and I mm -hmm. think she figures she's got Seven. another yeah. one in her. And I think partly, too, like she was injured in Rio. Um, she was injured in Tokyo, mm -hmm. which didn't really allow her to go 100%. And, yeah, yeah. and the one prior to that was well she was pretty young, and think her focus at that point was a lot of doubles. Uh, that's a good job. Yeah, it's a hard way to finish. You, you know, you work so hard to get to that point, and then you just know you can't give your best. It's yeah. A, it's a frustrating feeling. There's, a, like, there's some work that's left uh, undone there, so I get that. Yeah, and I think she's training and maintaining herself uh, a little more carefully now so that I think there's a more of a chance for her doing it without being injured. Mm -hmm. Yeah, certainly we've seen this with balance and tennis players as they get into the 30s. It, you know, the formula was to train five, six hours a day before on court. You're probably not going to maintain that. Doesn't mean you can't train hard, but you make your your sessions, you know, high quality, and you throw in more of the off court. We we'll call it, you know, mobility, working with a trainer, weight training, yoga. Um, obviously, your therapy sessions and really managing the body is uh, is a full time gig if you want to do well at the elite level. So there's not much separating the top players. Players kind of amping it up here. Yeah, yeah. 
Up to speed. Good paid defensive off. Defensive rally there. Michelle just trying to dig herself out of it. Just misjudge the, the height of that flick for him. Not too bad. She had three nice shots leading up to that. Well, closing the gap a little bit. Yeah, Nadir is getting a little bit more back, starting to push Michelle a bit. And we've seen that in a lot of the matches where the players who haven't maybe played each other much in the past start to get a, a feel for each other's game. And as the match progresses, you see them adapt and and uh, sort of adjust. Mm. Michelle's giving her a few unforced errors. See, like that time she uh, there cleared it high because she needed that recovery time. She was caught way behind that. Mm. That's that's fine. She's buying herself time. Sure. It's a shot that Michelle should have made, but at least she bought herself enough time. She'd clear that too low. She would probably have no time to recover and, and get caught by like more of an off speed. Nice. Okay. Michelle's got to put the uh, pedal to the metal here. Bring this to the finish line. Nice. When she's pushing her in that around the head side, it's uh, typically a clear that's coming back. There's not a lot of kind of straight, fast drops or off speed, so start to anticipate those. As soon as I say that, she hits a drop. <laughs> <laughs> huh. Nice. Nice shot. Well good, good. You know, Michelle made a few unforced errors there and then followed up with three good shots close enough to the sidelines to win the rally, but keeping it in. Maybe not putting the pedal to the metal so much as reeling her in. Fish analogy. Hey, call her fish. <laughs> you go car, I'll go fish. You know, I'm, I'm not going for the bait. I'm not doing it. <laughs> Attacking clear. Right. Oh, wow. Her first straight slice. Beautiful. There it is. But look where it landed. Yeah. It's like, what, nine, inch, nine inches from the line? It's well placed. But it's high percentage. It's just, she's fooling her on that smooth brushing of the feathers. <laughs> smooth. <laughs> yeah, nervous sometimes. <laughs> um, I, I think that's, that's a tuck in my hands. That's one of her, her best shots. Just shells. Yeah. Yep. There we go, game point, just like that, from yeah. 15, it was 15, 11, right? Yeah. And five in a row, yeah. There it is, first game. Just like that. Six in a row to close it out. Routine. Yeah, and I think that's where uh, Michelle has to keep her focus, because it is, in some ways, it's easy for her in some in some ways when she's doing the singles, and she's got to keep that intensity going for herself. Oh, and there goes a bag of bag of jellies, goodies. a bag of little jellies. Actually, okay. gonna give the racket this time. I think everybody thinks they're about to get a racket every time uh, our uh, our promo girl comes it's out. Certainly and engaging it is, the crowd. Yeah, it's a bag of certainly engaging the crowd. A lot of things not in that racket bag other than a racket. And there's Mike Butler going down, looking like he's hoping to get a racket. Hopefully he has his own. I'd like to think he's got his own. Yeah, hopefully. Hats off to Mike Butler, who was helping uh, put the courts away yesterday. Unbelievable. Yeah. Our national coach, right? Just yeah. in there. No shame. National coach. Unbelievable. Just helping goes out. Goes everywhere. He's in the Hall of Fame. He's literally doing bicep curls <laughs> with, like, the 300-pound boxes of nets. He's training yeah. for him. Beast. You think you're a beast? He's a beast. Were you and Mike, um, I assume you were on the same national team at some point? Yeah. Yes. For a while there, we had a while back in the day where Mike Bitten 
Mike Butler and myself, Mike DeBell, were traveling around together. Very confusing for the other teams. <laughs> a lot of mics. At the time, definitely one of the more popular names in Canada. Mm -hmm. That was one of the jokes, is everybody from Canada, <laughs> all the men named Mike. So Mike, eh? I always told them, just the good ones. <laughs> Mike Butler, our current national coach, being the... I keep saying single specialist, but he was pretty damn good in doubles. He's good enough well. in doubles to beat us a few times, so, yeah. But I think everybody thinks of him first and foremost yeah. as singles. But he won, he was a mixed doubles uh, champ many times, too. He and Claire Backhouse, so he was good in all three. One of those guys. This is her first lead of the match. Right. A little slim lead, but. Ah. Mm. That I like. Yeah. She caught her in the forehand corner. Oh, she's sort of moving a little gingerly there. Oh, she did something. Michelle? Nope. Oh, the deer. Yeah. Yes, dear. <laughs> oh, sorry. I thought you were going to be. Not on the air, please. <laughs> nice move, though, into the forehand corner from Michelle. It's a shot she'll never make. Sort of walked into it. Yeah. A little bit oh, she almost jogged into it, or possibly Three. yogged into it. <laughs> Soft J. Oh, and he makes oh, it over. Lucky roll. Bounce over. We'll take it. Three, nice sequence of shots here in the last couple of rallies. Well, lucky break for Michelle. Bird hit the net and hopped out. I think he may have going in until the net, then it's yeah, going to bounce yeah. to change directions. I like that. She's showing the yeah. net and just a really quick acceleration of the racket and, and, and you know, a really compact stroke to uh, I think you have a better chance as well. Not only is the deception better, but you actually have a better chance, I think, of hitting your your precise spot if you're more compact. Too many times we see juniors in these positions, kind of big, long swing. And yeah. Not only is it more deceptive, it's actually a bit harder to control, more moving parts. Right to the corner. Wow, nice. the combination. She's hit three corners, now she go, oh, yeah, she almost completed. Now let's yeah. go for the fourth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It was going to be a demoralizing rally. She hit three unbelievable shots to different corners and then uh, had something to work with and push it out. Like that. Just holds it. Oh, nice cross. Yeah, you will not see Michelle hit high clears. No. Like the pressure clears. Oh, I just missed it. Good idea. Yeah, her drops are fast. She's got those fast clears, and it's hard to figure out where to go when you're mm -hmm. in the center court. Yeah, if you're the opponent, it, and it looks like your opponent's going to hit their normal shots, you know, the downward trajectory, you're, you're usually going to be kind of leaning forward more, mm -hmm. kind of a wider stance, and then it makes it harder to defend that flat clear. Good 
Good reverse. Oh, good. Yeah. She read that. Yeah. She saw it coming. Madera keeping pace a little bit better in this second game. So much for Michelle's 6 3 lead. Yeah. Go in a row. Yeah. Seven, six. Well, it's just eliminating the the unforced errors. They've they've both sort of taken turns doing some. I think Nadira's uh, errors are a little on. bit more forced, and I think Michelle's giving her some freebies right now. It's a tiny bit of a lull in the action here. Yeah. Off the energy and get to 11 first and then uh, take it home. Even though she's already home. <laughs> yeah, good change up. That was good. No lack of power, Michelle. You, uh, you coached her a bit when she was playing with uh, Alex Bruce, did you not? Yeah, yeah, they were double teaming me. And, uh, yeah, we more in the tournament setting than... than practice setting, but uh, yeah, at the time she was, you know, j singles and doubles, she was doing both. She And she, she actually maintained that. I mean, she was at one point the only player in the world who um, was top 30 in both singles and doubles. It's not uh, not easy to pull off. Alex was here yeah. earlier. I think she's still here. Yeah. That's right. She's still trying to steal my chair. <laughs> yeah, I thought you were going to get the boot there for a second. Erin Michelle qualified for the 2012 Olympics and then dealt with that chaotic um, situation where players were getting kicked out and they got thrown back in the tournament and ended up making a semifinals, which to date I believe is the best result ever. All the cross. And then Michelle, went on. after that point, she you know had to kind of pick and choose her events, so she focused on singles. And not a bad choice. Oh, she's, she's the, the best singles career. Yeah, she's the best singles player we the best singles player we've ever had in Canada. Absolutely. And I assume I mean you would say that for men or women, right? I would say that well, for women for for sure. I think prior to her maybe Wendy Carter Clarkson was our uh, internationally probably the next highest rank we've had. That was uh, a while ago, but I think even just we, we've had some solid results on the men's side we have. many years ago, but I don't think the standard of play was quite as high. Like we didn't have the same international and participation, I right? And and I think Michelle's reached top eight in the world at one point. I don't think we've ever had a a, a man rank that high. Yeah, and she was top ten for a while, and she's she's consistently been in the top fifteen. Yeah, for a number of years. So that makes you just got hot for a little bit, and went back down, stayed there for a while, still is, still sitting at fourteen. Here we are at 9-10, close to the interval. Certainly yep. mm. so Nadira, uh, you know, to her defense, she's, she stepped up her game. Yes. She's, she's kind of putting more pressure on Michelle and still finding a way to be consistent as well and not doing any bunch of points. So she's made some nice adjustments. I think she's forced Michelle to tighten things up a bit because I think in the beginning Michelle was, too yeah, Ma Michelle was winning rallies outright with the fast drop and I think Nadira's. Oh, that's it. Yeah. Well done. Yeah, I mean, badminton, like many other sports, like other racket sports and the soccer and the hockey's and all those sports, it's an open skill sport. So you're, you know, it's not a judge sport. Uh, Although people are judging all the time, kind of like we are, we're judging people. Um, <laughs> you know, so yeah. you're, you're playing an opponent that, based on, uh, you know, if I'm hitting a shot, it, it's I'm making a split second decision based on 
the location of the shuttle, where I'm located on the court, maybe certain patterns. And so you're constantly having to make adjustments. And then the opponent has to make adjustments to your adjustments and on and on. It's a sort of chess match back and forth. And the players who are better at figuring out their opponent's strategy and how to maximize their own strengths uh, and explore their, their opponent's weaknesses are, are going to get more success. I chose the wrong time to uh, give my inspirational speech here as everyone's screaming. No one's at the top of their lungs. <laughs> it's okay. It's, it's some dead time. What, did you say something? I think I lasted f the entire 40 seconds. You know, I just gave you a break. You take some pictures, whatever you're doing. Are you playing video games on your phone again? Mike, stay focused. He, folks, he's shoving the camera in my face. I want to see if slightly they're uncomfortable. If they're actually giving out the racket, this is a false alarm. I'm, I'm going to start complaining at some point. It can only tease so much. Unless you Mike DeBelli. Tease all the time. This never ends. So what's Nadir's coach said? Keep at her. Yeah, keep I, mean the I, think pace. I think a lot of, uh, uh, you know, you're not looking to change too much. I think you, you would also say, listen, Michelle does have another gear, and so be prepared for, you know, her to potentially up the, the tempo. And in which case, you just, you know, if you're comfortable with that speed, fine. But if you're not, um, you know, look to, to, to change it up, do hit whatever shot you need to to play it on your terms, which she's done quite well in the first half of this game. Even just that little soft drop to kind of change it up and not give Michelle yeah. anything to work with. There you go, because then the rally, you know, beautiful looking shot from Michelle in the reverse slice, just a little bit out. Mistake's a mistake. She's got the lead again, 12 11. And I think he would have said that in the Japanese language, but it could be wrong. Yeah. Which right, I, I'm yeah. not going to attempt because I know nothing. I know 39 languages, but that's not one of them. Wow. Hold on. Just catches your wrong foot on that. 39. Shot. You're, <laughs> you're practicing your I stroke? Think she's I think she's trying to do a reverse straight. You almost hit me while you're doing that. <laughs> <laughs> Mike's, Mike's fingers came awfully close to my nose there on his reverse slice. Just shadow tweak swing attempt. Tweak the beak there. <laughs> the beak. <laughs> what are you saying? <laughs> <laughs> Well, I think Nadir is covering the straight, the, the reverse straight cross court, or straight. Oh, you do you want to try that again? Um, out, yeah. I was thrown off by that line call. Um, <laughs> I think Nadir is covering the straight drop, and then Michelle's It was called out, right? It what? was called no. in, I know. That was out, I think. Ah, from I mean here, it, it looked out. About 200 feet from us, but. Yeah. But we're never wrong. My eyes are laser focused. We're getting more confident. I can't see the screen that's in front of me, but that's a different story. <laughs> Uh, good combo. Yeah. yeah. She's just standing there waiting for it. We go do some of that. Oh. Dear was looking for that. Yeah. Well, she's hit a number of clears, so she she has to look for it at some yeah, point. Yeah, yeah. Because those are exhausting, right? To go back and constantly go after those clears takes a lot of energy from your legs. Cross it. Yeah, there it is. See there. She's got good pace, good angle, and she just gets it down there before anyone can get near it. Shell regains her lead, 15-13, six points away from the title. Nicely done. It's fast. Just missed oh, it. Just out. Good idea, though. Just making her work. It's one thing to throw in the mistake you know, uh, at the end of a long rally. At least you're making them work versus obviously at the very start.
Yeah, and I think Khan is telling her that's the right shot. Just take a bit of speed off it, but it's the right it's the right strategy. Khan is her coach. Yes, yeah, Khan is her coach. Same gentleman who was coaching Kuyashi uh, earlier. Who's one who was out there? Right? No, no, no. <laughs> wow. She get it? Yeah. Whoa. Close. I don't know. <laughs> it wasn't a bad serve at all. She no. just decided, I'm going to smash it. There's nothing you can do about it. Well, obviously, if this became uh, a regular thing, she'd have to eventually change her serve to probably a short serve, uh, which is very well executed. I don't think we've seen a short serve in this match yet, have we? No. Cross, yeah. Oh. Good cut off. Nadira just. Sounds like she caught her in between steps where yeah. she was going to maybe cut her diagonal. It looked kind of harmless. Well, she's got the lead back. 17-16. She'll cut out a few of those mistakes and make her earn her points. This Bound and Canada gentleman is really fired up. Get the crowd going. <laughs> yeah. Nice. A good, uh, nice gift. Well, she gifted her that, but at the same time, she was she was pressured into that corner, so it was not uh, necessarily an easy shot. Is he warning her? Holding on to the bird, I think. And she likes to. Yeah. Uh, that was the thing. Hold on. Yeah. Again, when I was a junior, one of my coaches used to say, you know, if you once you hand the bird back to them, they have control, so you hold on to it as long as you can. Well, it's a control thing. Yes. But. Um, can't really do that internationally. The shell just off the base here. Yeah. Hey, the cadence has gone up. I like it. Nice. Yeah. Whoa, whoa. That, that whole was the shot. Sweet. She's got that on the backhand and the forehand side. That little hold and a chop cross. Takes a certain amount of courage to pull that off at yeah. that point. Yeah. Did you have any special fakes back in your day? Um, back in the mullet days? A decent serve. Well, th I think the mullet was the most that distracting that thing for everybody. That was a secret weapon. And the short shorts, which I know you talked about yesterday. Yeah, don't get me going again. Okay. Wow, there it is again. There's the forehand yeah. version. But the timing of that, she held it just, you know, well enough that just when well, when her opponent was going to step in, she yeah. she flicked it. It's perfect timing. Yeah, and and it could go straight. It could go just to the net. Could go straight down the line or that cross. But it's hard to read it. It doesn't look like a cross until she's actually hit it. Because it is go dangerous. Anywhere, is what you're saying? I didn't say cross court net. Oh, almost. Three or four though. Here we go. 1917. Michelle's really uh, stepped it up. Lost a few points. I like it. There it is, yeah. See, nice change up. Yeah. Because she's been hitting that straight smash so yeah. well from there, punching the clear. And uh, that is just a good choice of shots at the right moment. Setting up the match point for her potential second Canada Opens here. There well it is. Done. There it is. Four very good points nice. to close it out. Yeah. That is the son of a true champion having the ability to go to that next gear. Um, there's really nothing that uh, 
Well done. Good finish Nothing for the Nothing that Dara did wrong in those last four points. She really just earned it. So well done. Great finish to the end of this week at the uh, 2022 Canadian International by Yonex. Thanks, everybody, for listening. Michelle Lee wraps it up with a 21-11, 21-17 win for Canada. And it looks like they're finally giving the racket. Here we go. Thank you for joining us. Thanks for listening. See you next time. Bye-bye.